And tonight, employees at NASA are bracing for layoffs. The space agency, among several federal offices, cutting down its workforce. NASA has roughly 17 to 18,000 employees in that range. But um, as we are about to watch here, any moment now, we're actually gonna have the live pictures uh, in a second, there's about to be another SpaceX launch. So when you think about, here you go, live pictures. This is uh, SpaceX right now. They're about to have another launch in about two minutes or so. This is the Falcon 9 rocket, and they're gonna bl uh, bring more satellites uh, up into space there. So let's, let's consider here, NASA versus SpaceX, what's going on? Let's keep these live pictures. Uh, NASA's requested roughly $25.5 billion for this fiscal year. Over the past 10 years, it's received nearly $220 billion. Now, the funding is being allocated for several objectives, deep space exploration, space operations, space technology, science, and aeronautics. Now, SpaceX is doing this at a fraction of the cost. It received more than $10 billion in venture capital, that's private money, $20 billion or so in U.S. government contracts. Joining me now is the for former NASA astronaut, former International Space Station commander, Leroy Chow. Leroy, thanks for being with us. Kind of cool to, to speak with you and watch this as we believe this is taking place uh, in the next 100 seconds or so. Um, so as the big conversation, Leroy, here in Washington is about Doge, and we're talking about possibly cutting 10% of NASA, is, is that the right figure? As a former Na a NASA astronaut, are you good with that? Well, I'll tell you what, NASA, like just about every other large organization, has its fair share of bureaucracy and inefficiency. The NASA of today is nothing like the NASA during the Apollo mm. days or even during the shuttle days. And so, uh, yes, is there fat to be cut out? Of course there is. Uh, the, the thing is, the issue so is how, that... How much, how much fat, though, Leroy? Um, because, we, you know, is it 1%, 5%, 10%? If, if this is a, not, not the NASA of old, what do we need to do? Sure. And, 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 you know, I'm certainly not an expert in that, so it's hard for me to say, but I can in generalities compare to what's going on in industry. You know, up until now, civil servants have been sacred cows. They generally can't get laid off. But look at industry. Just very recently, Chevron announced they're laying off 20 percent of their workforce. Schlumberger laying off 25 percent of their workforce. Southwest Airlines laying off 15 percent of their their workforce. Right. Blue Origin, SpaceX's competitor, announced very recently they're, yep. they're 10%. losing 10% of their just work. did it, yep. Yeah, and so losing 10% of NASA, that seems right in family there. Hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, of course, it's terrible when people lose their jobs. It's terrible for them, their families. You got to feel for these people. But at the same time, you, you know, there, there's definitely fat in the federal government. I don't think anyone would argue with that. What, what would it, and what, what would it do to the communities? Like, cut, right? What, what would it do to the communities? Because I'm looking at Florida economic impact, 35,000 jobs supported. Texas, 39,000 jobs supported. Sure. Well, you know what? This would be actually a smaller blow than the end of the shuttle program back in 2011. I mean, so many people were laid off down in Florida at the Cape and some folks here in Houston at the Johnson Space Center and other centers. So this is, you know, but all those people, the difference is all those people who were laid off back then were contractors. They weren't hmm. civil servants. Civil servants have always been a sacred cow up until now. And the question is, the question needs to be asked is why have they been, you know, sacred cows? Right. So it, it's it, it's interesting to talk to you right now and watch this, uh, watch this launch take place here in 10 seconds because it really does kind of show the moment that we're in right now. We're talking about a SpaceX launch right now. Um, and, and not something uh, involving NASA. We, we did, though, hear from NASA, Leroy, today as, you, as we watched the Falcon 9 rocket launch live here, um, and what a sight to see there um, as it heads up into the skies and talking to a former NASA astronaut as all of this happens. Um, what about from NASA, though, Leroy, today, that there is an asteroid that could hit in 2032, and they've now bumped it up to a 3% chance. Well, you know, uh, these, there's, this is not an exact science when you have multiple bodies and considering orbital mechanics, you know, predicting where something's going to go, especially, you know, many years from now, it's difficult to do. And so I would expect that estimate to be fine. And, you know, 2 3%, that's still pretty low, and that's just a guess so far, an estimate. Um, again, watching this launch is spectacular. By the way, yeah. this launch of Starlink satellites is unique because the booster, the first stage is supposed to land on a drone ship near the Bahamas, mm. wow. which will be a first. Wow. Uh, we'll leave it there. 
a small chance, but we'll see what happens, obviously. Right. <laughs> Leroy Chow. Uh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.